い、鈴木そばやです。すみません。あの、はい、出前お願いしたいんですけれども。はい、ありがとうございます。どちら様でしょう。失礼いたします。で、またお会いいたしましょう。ありがとうございます。Hello world! In Japan, noodle or sushi delivery were pretty much the only options for home delivery of restaurant food until the 90s, when home delivery of pizza started becoming popular. So in the 80s, what pizza and Chinese food delivery was to North America, sushi and noodle delivery was to Japan. And before Uber Eats, delivery of soba used real dishes, not takeout containers. But how do they safely transport real dishes to customers? One part of it is to wrap up everything with cling wrap inside the restaurant. The other part, the one I was interested in learning more about, is the special delivery tray attached to the motorcycles. It smooths out the motorcycle's vibrations and moves horizontally like a pendulum to prevent tilting. In other words, it's air suspension. I was surprised to see how quick and easy it was to secure all the items with the tray cover, which holds things in place using the tension of a spring. Since the special delivery tray was developed in 1965, there have been no major changes to the design. It's still the same color, shape, and form. Now, while you will see this delivery tray all over Japan, the manufacturer says it is actually rare above Sendai. Up north, winters are cold, so deliveries happen by car instead, so that the food doesn't cool down too much. And by the way, if you're interested in starting your own noodle delivery business, we found out that you can get your very own special delivery tray for 96,000 yen. Today, we joined Suzuki Soba as they prepare to open up for lunch. <laughs> Every morning, fresh soba noodles are made from buckwheat that's ground up into flour on site. I've been to shops where they roll everything out with a giant rolling pin, but over here, there's a special rolling machine that does the work. I always find it interesting to see what processes are done manually and which are done by machine. So while the rollout is with a machine, cutting the noodles is done the traditional way with a special soba noodle cutting knife. <laughs> Although I didn't film it, he also makes fresh udon noodles every day. Which are made of white flour and are much thicker. In comparison, the soba noodles he makes are made of 80% buckwheat flour and 20% wheat flour. <laughs> On a regular day, they make 50 portions of soba noodles. 40 portions of rice and 10 portions of udon noodles for a rough count of 100 meals per day. On a very busy day, they say that number can triple. So if they're unexpectedly busy and are sold out by lunch, they'll make another fresh batch of noodles in the afternoon before dinner time. With this kind of fresh format, if they run out of an item during the lunch or dinner service, whether it be the noodles or the ebi tempura, the item will be taken off the menu. Hi, The reason we're filming today is to see the deliveries, and the first order just came in. Kensa is our happy go lucky driver.
しまーす。鈴木そばやでーす。はーい、おいくらですか。失礼します。三千八百円になります。私の方に合うでしょう。五千と、あ、ちょっと、こちらと、あと、両者の写真を何かを全部入れて。うん、はい、ありがとうございます。またお願いいたします。ご苦労様です。ありがとうございます。雨の日はやっぱりおじいちゃんおばあちゃんがやっぱ大体多いんで出前頼むその時はあのもう本当に心配してくれるこの温かさがあるんで<笑>それは結構運びがいがあるなと思って雨きついけどやっぱこうおじいちゃんおばあちゃんみたいなことはあの雨の日わざわざご苦労さんねっつってで一番嬉しかったのがそのこれでもなんかあったかいの飲みなってちょっとお小遣い頂い,いて<笑>それは本当にもうやっててよかったなと。やっぱ出前は本当楽しいですね。The 1960s was a period of rapid economic growth, and as people's lives became more affluent and their work became busier, many people started taking delivery at work or at home. Before then, delivery people would carry the soba dishes stacked on their shoulders while riding a bicycle. So the motorbike with a special delivery tray was a major improvement. まあ、うちの親はそうだよね、20とか、そう3時まで運ぶのかな、こう、こう肩にこうしょってね、こう、こうやって、やってましたね。And for a time, there were three manufacturers of the special delivery trays, and all was good. However, fast food and family restaurants, as well as convenience stores, appeared and started gaining popularity. People eating soba noodles in Katsudon declined, and nowadays there's only one manufacturer of the special delivery tray left. I think delivery is gaining popularity once again, but it's app services like Uber Eats and Demaya Khan that are driving the practice. Suzuki Soba also does delivery via apps, and you can see how the packaging is completely different from their own in house delivery service. Tsuchiya san said that the young generation all order via apps. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
There's also the bonus that there's less plastic waste, which I think is more eco-friendly even considering the gas used for the pickup of the dishes. When you're done with the meal, you just leave the tray outside and the driver will come by to pick it up later. Depending on the meal time and amount of deliveries, sometimes this is only an hour later, while other times it's the following day. Since we were at the soba shop already, we felt it would be a shame to not take a break and enjoy a meal. And then that also meant it would have been a wasted opportunity to not film the meal being made, so that's what I did. If you look, you'll see that they cool down the soba, but then warm it back up again. I never realized that before. The tempura here is made fresh for every order, which I certainly appreciated. When Akko and I are looking for a quick, affordable and healthy lunch, we often end up eating soba. Although, how healthy it is depends on what variation you choose to go with. When we first visited Suzuki Soba, I had a cold bowl of sudachi soba. Sudachi is a kind of bitter orange, and it works great to create a refreshing summer dish. Akko went with ume, daikon, bonito, nori, and shiso soba. On our second visit, I went with a hot bowl of soba and tempura. It was tasty, but I can't claim that the tempura made it a light or healthy meal, although it was definitely fresh. Mm. Akko's sesame seed dressing soba was the lighter choice. The restaurant seemed very traditionally Japanese to me, and by that I mean the late Showa era Japan, which is the 1970s and 80s. You had sit down tables, as well as the elevated platform with seat cushions where you remove your shoes before sitting down. If you're looking at the outside of the restaurant, I think it can be intimidating to foreigners. First of all, there's no plastic food or English that I think people who don't read Japanese find welcoming. Second, the menu is all in Japanese. I did find out that they have a point and show sheet to help with the ordering though, so you'd be totally fine if you don't read Japanese. But the biggest reason you'd be okay is because the owners and staff are very friendly. I can't say enough about how incredibly helpful and accommodating they were in letting us film their shop. And a special thanks to Kensa, who was our delivery driver for the day. Anything we asked, he was game for it. For example, it's hard to film a delivery vehicle while it's doing real deliveries to customers. So he actually redid some of the routes for me multiple times so that I could get you some crisper footage. And that's also why it might seem like he's driving a bit slow. And if you find yourself visiting Suzuki Soba in Japan, you'll probably want to access some apps or websites from your home country. I know that when I'm in Japan, some Canadian news sites I want to look at are geo-blocked. So using NordVPN helps me get my local news. And actually, there were times I was in Canada wanting to order something from Japan, but the shopping site kept throwing up errors. I couldn't figure it out for a while, but it turned out that they wanted a local IP address. So I found that turning on the VPN and using a Japan server allowed me to complete the order. Now my wife and I use this one weird trick for shopping in both countries and e-commerce sites love us. It works on up to six devices and on all major platforms. So my whole family can use it on Android, iOS and Windows. Even though people tend to mind their own business in Tokyo, they're able to creep on what websites you're visiting if you're on public Wi-Fi, whether it's on the train or in your hotel. Using a VPN will stop that. You may also know that Japan has some fast fiber networks, so I was always wary of using a VPN as I wanted the speed. But one day I accidentally left my VPN on and discovered that I was still getting amazing speeds. So now it's a no-brainer to use it. It's also a no-brainer to recommend. You can sign up at nordvpn.com slash life where I'm from. If you choose a two year plan, you'll get an extra four months with that link. And if it's not working out for any reason, no worries. NordVPN provides a 30 day money back guarantee. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. What's delivery like where you're from?